it's already rising so I may have left it a little bit too late but oh well it's so windy but it is quarter to seven sun rises at 20 past but it's pretty light now so um, I'm going into the third hides down do this because the sun will be behind me then or on my left side so don't want to be going in a hide where the sun is facing you otherwise all the pictures will be black basically So windy so I am worried about this audio but just saw a flock of lapwing and I think done then flying then over to the next pool so I'm gonna quickly try and get set up um, I don't usually use a tripod but today I bought my tripod so I'm gonna set that up see how I roll with it usually the tripod makes me feel like a bit restricted with where I can move especially in a hide so um, but we'll set up anyway to see how it goes.
hard to come around here to film speaking because the wind is so strong. But currently got my camera focused on a group of Dunlin, I think it is. It's quite far away, so it's quite hard to tell, but I think it's Dunlin. So I'm just waiting now until they fly off and then I'll probably get a nice shot of them flying. Um, I've got my camera on, like, let me just check what it is. When 80 times 30 times 4. So that'll get all loads of frames so when they fly it can be in like slow motion. So I'm really happy right now. Just got an amazing video of a marsh harrier, a female marsh harrier. She came really close, got some amazing footage. So going well so far. Today I'm using my Nikon D850, my 200-500 Nikon lens and my Manfrotto um, panhead tripod. It's got a fluid drag in the top. Perfect for filming. So an update. So um, a marsh harrier, as I said, and then I just saw a kestrel really close, and I got an amazing shot of it. It just flew literally right past the tree. Now. It's getting quite windy now and it's raining a little bit as well so I'm getting very cold but um, I'm really happy with the footage I got of the Kestrel really close that was really nice and of course the Marsh Harrier early in the morning that was really special gotta keep waiting um, as patience is a virtue and without the patience you do not get see cool animals and get good shots so I will be waiting here in the cold for a bit longer and um, it's actually quite nice when it rains or when the weather is quite gloomy because then um, it makes the shots look really kind of moody and atmospheric so so happy I waited just had a male and a female kestrel and they landed just on those fence posts literally so close to where I am so I got some amazing shots of them so successful morning very happy one thing I always um, would recommend is charging up a lot of batteries before you do something like this because obviously you're waiting for hours and hours filming those things it just drains battery so I only bought managed to charge two before I came and I should have charged three so both of my batteries now are on their last little strip so I'm probably going to have to call it a day soon so I've been here for about four three and a half four hours but it's been very successful and I'm really looking forward to editing some, together some of these clips.